Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. The Saturnian moon Enceladus may be one of the most enigmatic bodies in the solar system. For nearly a decade, since the first close flyby of the Cassini space probe, NASA scientists have faced a series of puzzles that continue to challenge conventional theory. The electrical nature of these puzzling phenomena has grown increasingly evident, leading to the 2012 NASA report. Enceladus Plume is a new kind of plasma laboratory. In part one of this two-part presentation, we explore the question, what makes Enceladus such a unique and fascinating case study in planetary science? Enceladus is a moon of Saturn, orbits just outside the rings. It has one of the most perfect orbits of any moon in the solar system. It's almost a perfect circle. One of its faces always points towards Saturn as it moves around in its orbit. It's almost perfectly aligned in the equatorial plane of Saturn. And what all that means is that the gravity forces acting on it are almost zero. It's almost as if it were sitting still because all the variations caused by an eccentric orbit or an inclined orbit or, or a rotation other than synchronous have been zeroed out. So Enceladus makes an almost perfect laboratory in space. Saturn only receives 1% of the sunlight that the Earth gets. Enceladus, in turn, is the most reflective object in the solar system. So of that 1% of the light that Earth gets, Less than 1% of that even can heat that little moon. So it isn't being heated by the sun. So that can't be much of a factor for the things we see on this little moon. Since 2005, NASA scientists have known that Enceladus emits unexpected jets of icy material. Adding further surprise, the jets were found near the South Pole, which NASA scientists had expected to be the moon's coldest region, but which instead turned out to be its warmest. Adding further astonishment, in 2009, Cassini scientists discovered the presence of electrically charged particles in the Enceladus plumes. What can these jets tell us about the obvious electrical environment of Enceladus? One of the features of Enceladus that is so intriguing are these jets we see coming off of it. They were first discovered back in 2005 when Cassini arrived at Saturn and began looking at the different moons. They didn't announce it until November 2005 because they weren't really sure what they were seeing. But by now it's become perfectly clear that jets of finely divided water particles are coming off of this moon almost continuously. And the main area they come from is the southern region where there are these four parallel bands called tiger stripes over a hundred kilometers